guys, it's me, Bren, and today I'm out in my garden. I'm actually on the front porch. Well, kind of off the front porch, but I want to showcase this beautiful rose, this climbing rose. What a surprise it was. I bought this a couple years ago, and I've been having so much fun watching it grow, and I want to tell you about it, and uh, hopefully you consider getting one for yourself. Today, I want to show off this beautiful rose bush. I did not expect for this to do this well. It's actually a rose climber. Look at this thing. And the buds are just opening up. The beautiful buds. The buds are gorgeous on their own. And it's a great plant. It's doing really well right here. Facing the south on my front porch. And there is the name down here. I made a tag. And this was one of those roses I actually found. Um, actually, you know what? This one, this is the second summer I've had this one. And I found it in a bag. It was a bag um, rose bush that you can find almost anywhere, really. I've seen them at Aldi's. I think I got this one at Walmart. Um, they have them at Menards and all over the place um, in the bags. Some people don't like the bag roses, but um, I do. They're a fun surprise. You find some real beautiful heirlooms. And look what I got. And I think I paid four bucks for it. And it did great over the winter. I was a little worried about it. But it, it held up, obviously. This is just the 2nd of June. And it's just gorgeous. So what I'll keep doing as the buds open, besides cutting them off and bringing them in and enjoying them indoors, I'll prune all of them off. And I do keep feeding it with a rose food. All right, so I want to note that I did do a little research on this rose, of course, after I bought it because it was so cheap. <laughs> I just couldn't refuse growing it for the price that it was. And um, it did say in the article that this would have repetitive blooms all summer long or all season long. But it also said that the blooms were quite fragrant and <sighs> I'm not getting a scent on this at all. So... I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure it is the correct plant that it wasn't mislabeled, but this one doesn't seem to have a scent. So I am hoping that they were correct on it being a continuous bloomer. I'll keep you posted on that. There's a lot of buds on here either way. And it's a beautiful plant. Look how pretty it is. I was gonna put a clematis on here too. Um, just so you had color early on, but you know what, this one's blooming the same time most of my clematis are and uh i like it when the sun's out it's kind of neat because all this new growth on here was a reddish crimson kind of color and way over there i have a crimson king tree and when the sun's hitting it it's just gorgeous i just want to share with you and promote you know don't be afraid if you see something in the garden center get it try it you may have a winner like this one I'm gonna go get my pruner so I can bring some of these in. How pretty. Thanks for checking out my video today. I look forward to sharing more of my garden and gardens and my greenhouses with you here on my channel, Bren Haas. You can find all this information and more on my website at brenhaas.com. Hope to see you there.